Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm going to be doing a psychic reading. A lot of you have been asking, like, why have I stepped away from doing celebrity psychic readings? I haven't stepped away. I'm still doing them, but I have a lot of other projects going on in the background. Um, also, my mom just passed. So I'm dealing with that too. So I'm excited to to do a reading on Chris, Krishan Rock. Um, I don't know if I'm saying her name right. And also Blueface and their relationship. She just had a baby. Uh, I don't know how long ago. I have always seen them on the Shade Room or Hollywood Unlocked or, you know, these are, um, you know, people in the industry, in the entertainment industry, et cetera. But I'm going to focus on her. I really um, think that deep down, you know, she's a good girl, a good woman. But I think that there's she's had a tragedy of I feel like she carries a lot of weight with her and she she carries a lot of pain. A lot of people judge her, you know, for being different, for following a man who um, has a certain path or trajectory, you know, or has been known to be a player, et cetera. Um, I feel like there's some legal issues um, coming down the pipeline for her down the road. This could be with blue face. This could be um, other personal things that she has going on, but she does need to find a lot of balance. I feel like if she stays in a relationship with him, there's going to be problems. Um, I feel like there's she's going to have to be strong. There's going to be a lot of things that she's going to have to bite her tongue on that she can't speak on. Or if she speaks on, there would be like uh, repercussions. I do feel like she's faced domestic violence at some point or like abuse, verbal gaslighting, things of that per nature. And I feel like she, um, you know, she could easily move on. But I don't feel like he wants to ever take that relationship further than like a friendship. You know, even though she is his baby's mama, what whatever the deal is, I just feel like she wants more and she knows that she's not going to be able to get it from him. I also see down the road, you know, she, she might have the, you know, the, the nice house. She might have the money, et cetera, but I feel like she might be moving away from, from him. And, you know, I, I would say, you know, it's better for her to move away than to face more pain and things that she's going to have to face. But I do feel like she um, will eventually find her, her niche, you know, and find another person. I feel like the other person that she's with in the future will treat her a lot differently, but it's just like, and right now it's like, um, how does she make it, you know, on her own or how can she like move on? Uh, and I just feel like there's a lot of like goals. There's a trip coming up for her, maybe in this coming year, some travel. I also feel like she's being asked to look at things from a different perspective. Don't listen too much, too much what uh, everybody else is saying, but they're telling her to, for her to listen to herself and to her inner voice. And I also feel like there's a lot of problems around her like i feel like there's a lot of drama arguments her private life with blueface is not an easy one i feel like they're going to always um have conflict the house there's a lot of drugs substances things in that nature that um may be going on around them not necessarily with them but people that they associate with etc and then i just feel like there's always this feeling like she has to defend herself against that person um that she's with with blue face plus also defending her child as the child the baby gets older um and i feel like there's a lot of loss that she's experienced so i don't know if she's had family members or friends that have passed over but i do feel like she has quite a bit of people on the other side that um are family members quite possibly um or she had maybe like a miscarriage i'm not sure but i just feel like there's also a baby soul over there on the other side waiting and i see a lot of like um confusion around what she wants it's like she wants one thing one day and then the next day she she doesn't have it and i think that um she's gotten a taste of money or what money feels like, or like uh, attention. And I think she likes the attention and it kind of compensates for the void. That's really there deep down. There's a lot of pain that she holds on to. And I feel like she doesn't sleep well. I do feel like she's going to be betrayed again and again by blue face. I do feel like there's imminent danger there. I feel like she could actually have a better career and, um, and soar, but he's holding her back in so many ways. And I feel like she, is disempowered she needs to take her power back i feel like people are jealous of her there's other people that he's smashed or been with that i just feel like um are like an enemy against like they see her as an enemy as a threat and i feel like she's going to continue to always face judgment i also feel like there's a part of her that doesn't feel pretty and so she might try to go get cosmetic surgery or have some things done when in reality her health is not too good uh in the future like i do feel like down the road you know and i'm not a doctor and this is by no means diagnosis um you know what i'm seeing here is allegedly from spirit um but i do feel like uh what i see is like she will have a difficult road you know and she's got to love herself from within and then everything else is going to come together but she carries a lot of baggage and a lot of 
you know, she's also sneaky herself. I will say that there are lies and things that she says and that she does, you know, that um, only time will tell and that it will come out into the light. I feel like the scandals are far from over. I still see her coming out, um, you know, being scandalous and uh, being involved in scandals. And she's so pretty and so smart and so talented. Like she could actually have a successful career, you know, not that she doesn't already. I don't know anything about, about them. All I know is that they're in the industry, but I just feel like there's heartbreak for her and it's karmic. The thing that she has with blue face is that I feel like they're twin flames, not soulmates. And I think that in many ways, they both love each other on some level, but are very alike in many levels. And I think that they will eventually gravitate towards uh, different people. And I feel like she will be involved always in a third party relationship where she's talking to someone that somebody is talking to somebody else or in a relationship with somebody else. And she's got to like recognize the patterns and step away from that in order to be truly happy. Uh, her inability to do that is going to just continue to shut her down because I feel like there are men, there are options around her. You know, if she was to really let go of Blueface, she would really like find and settle with someone that's a lot older than her and mature uh that's more mature but it's just like i feel like she doesn't know how to begin a new cycle she's perpetually stuck with what she wants and stubborn and she but eventually she's gonna walk away i do feel like there's two other men that are going to come into her life you know possibly or she'll talk to but um i feel like all this stagnant energy is going to with uh, blue face and the drama that she puts herself into and the pain that she creates herself because again she self-sabotages herself i just feel like um it's going to catch up to her in some way where you know um her health could uh you know she could develop something serious or have some uh additional health issues than what she might already have and um she deserves so much better than that like i really do so i'm going to pull some uh, other cards um to see what messages uh they may have for her and this is the everyday witch deck that I'm using. Um, so sorry for the mess in the background. I'm rearranging things, getting rid of things that I no longer need. So um, yeah, let's see what else comes out from what messages for uh, Krishan. It's a pretty name. I hope I said it right. Krishan. Krishan. Okay, I have here um, meditation and creativity. So she needs to definitely step into um, more of a creative zone. I feel like she needs to truly like um, think about painting and et cetera. Connect with Gaia whenever she's feeling erratic energy or chaotic energy. She needs to ground her energy. This could be like sitting on, you know, on the ground or hugging a tree or walking barefoot on grass. But I feel like she needs to definitely reconnect with that meditation for clarity. She's not seeing things right now from a clear perspective. And I think that her love for Krishan or the love that she has for the baby, the new baby, you know, and, and, and Krishan, I'm sorry, and Blueface, it blinds her. It blinds her from seeing, you know, sometimes people like the abuse, but I don't think she does. She is going to reap some rewards. So I do feel like along the way there are benefits, you know, from being in a relationship with Blueface, but they far uh the you know the benefits far outweigh i guess how am i saying that right the benefits that she's receiving are not as much as what she could actually do with her life and she needs to accept love and i think there's love waiting out there and people have told her get away from him he's no good for you but i think she's stuck with what she wants um and spirit is saying air magic that she needs to remember who she is and really like, I feel like she would benefit like from burning incense, Palo Santo, minor things like that. And also breathing. When you think about her, her lungs, the nervous energy that she carries, you know, breathing, I feel like she needs to breathe fresh air and practice uh, breathing exercises to elevate her vibration and her consciousness. Um, she needs to remember that she's strong and resilient and that she can uh, manifest what she wants. But right now she's just manifesting chaos she does needs to do cleansing of the body and spirit because he's been with a lot of people. He goes and, be, and is with her. And then all of that, you know, people don't realize, but sex in general, when you have multiple partners or you've been with multiple people, you carry all those people's energies with you. And it does go to the next person that you're intimate with. And in this case, um, Krishan is carrying his energy and energy of all the other partners that he's been with. So she definitely needs, has a lot to, to do still to cleanse her energy, but I feel like it all will work out for her if she can literally just like see past where she's at right now. But that's what I see. And I hear, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you have any celebrity suggestions on readings, please be sure to comment on the comment section below and be sure to give it a thumbs up, like share and subscribe. All right, guys. I love you so much. Bye.